Hello, in this small video I'll be talking about an important subject. It is about climate change. I will explain it in easy language. I am from Bundjugend. It is an organization for young people. An organization is something like a big group of working people. At Bundjugend, there are a lot of young people. They are all volunteering and fighting against climate change in Germany. But what is climate change? I will explain in the following. I will first start with weather. This is weather. Sometimes the sun shines. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it snows, sometimes there are clouds. We call the weather in one place climate. The climate is different at every place in the world. In Germany, we have this kind of climate. The sun shines often in the summer, in winter it snows, it rains often. The climate is changing, that is normal. But for a hundred years, the climate has been changing more than normal. An important reason is CO2, or carbon dioxide. CO2 is a gas. Gases are substances that lay in the air. Gases are everywhere around us. They cover the whole Earth. We call this cover the atmosphere. There are many different gases in the atmosphere. One of them is CO2. Where does CO2 come from? A small amount comes from breathing of people and animals. With some things, a lot of CO2 is produced. Examples, heating, using electricity, when shopping, driving a car, flying an airplane. How is CO2 produced? A big amount of CO2 comes from fossil fuels. Those are natural resources. Resources are in the ground of Earth. Some natural resources are coal, crude oil, natural gas. These natural resources are brought to power plants. They are burned. That's how people produce electricity. When burning, CO2 is released into the atmosphere. In Germany, there are a lot of power plants for burning coal. We find that very bad because a lot of CO2 is released into the air. People can produce electricity in a different way. For example, with the sun, with wind, with water. With these, CO2 is not produced. That is better for the climate. Coal, natural gas, crude oil is needed to produce heat for people and for cars and airplanes. With heating, using cars and airplanes, a lot of CO2 is released into the atmosphere. That is bad for the climate. For the climate, it is better when we walk, when we ride bicycles, when we use a wheelchair. Using buses or riding the train is also better, because they release less CO2 into the atmosphere. Buses and trains can transport many more people. That is better for the climate than riding with the car alone. A lot of cars produce more CO2 than one train. For the climate, shopping is also a problem, because when producing goods, CO2 is also released. Goods are things we shop and buy. For example, furniture, clothes, devices for the home. These things are produced in factories. Then they are stored. Trucks and ships then transport goods into the whole world. A lot of CO2 is then produced. That is bad for the climate. There is another gas. It is called methane. It is also bad for the climate. Some animals produce a lot of methane. Cows are one of them. Methane is produced when cows digest. Back in the days, there were fewer cows. Today, a lot of cows exist, because people drink a lot of milk from cows, because they like to eat meat from cows, because there are a lot of cows, there is a lot of methane. That is bad for the climate. Why is CO2 so bad for the climate? The sun heats the atmosphere. CO2 traps some of the heat into the atmosphere. Without CO2, the heat would be gone. It would be very cold on the planet and we could not live on it. CO2 gives the planet warmth. We call that greenhouse effect. But if there is too much CO2 in the atmosphere, it gets too warm. The climate is changing. It becomes warmer and warmer. We call that climate change. So what helps against climate change? Plants store CO2 out of the atmosphere. That's why forests and plants are so important. But humans are destroying the forests. Rainforest deforestation is one example. Because humans take down trees, because they need the wood and to use the free land for farming. We at Young Friends of Earth Germany say, we have to do something against climate change. But why do we have to? A lot of animals and plants live on the planet. At the moment, they can live well with the current climate. But if the climate continues to change, animals and plants will struggle to live well on the planet. As it gets warmer, the ice melts in the North and South Pole. A lot more water is then in the oceans. With more water, coasts and islands disappear. This is dangerous. A lot of people live on the coast and on the islands. They will lose their homes. Because otherwise, the weather will keep on changing. It will get a lot hotter. It will rain less. Plants cannot grow anymore because they need water. 
Without plants, animals and humans have no food. Or another example, through climate change, there is a lot more water. It rains too much. Everything is flooded. A lot of plants and animals and people die. We want to fight against this. Let's sum up. The gas CO2 keeps the planet warm. But if there's too much CO2, the climate changes. People produce a lot of CO2. CO2 is released through when we heat, when we use electricity, when we drive cars, when we fly with an airplane, when we drink milk and eat meat. If there's too much CO2, then it becomes a lot warmer. The ice on the North and South Pole melts. Because of too much water, islands will sink. Through more CO2, the weather will also change. Then a lot of plants and animals cannot live on the planet. People may die or lose their homes.